Welcome again to the course on other signal processing for music applications. In the previous uh, theory lecture, I gave an overview of the field of audio signal processing as an introduction and motivation to the course. Now I want to outline the specific topics that we will present in the course, which even though cover a tiny part of the audio signal processing field, they are very relevant to understand many concepts and methods used in audio signal processing systems, especially the ones uh, for music applications. As introduction to the course, uh, this week we have given a context of the audio signal processing field, uh, given an outline of the course, and uh, we will go over in the next class over the basic mathematics that are required uh, to follow the course. Then, uh, next week, we will start by introducing the discrete Fourier transform. This transform is the basis for everything we will do and we will try to understand every component of it. So we'll go through the DFT equation, then we will go through complex exponentials, the scalar product in the DFT, the DFT of complex sinusoids, the DFT of real sinusoids, and we'll finish with the inverse DFT, so to reconstruct the original signal. Then in, uh, in week three, in order to better understand the DFT, we will go over the basic theorems and properties of the Fourier transform. And these are the concept of linearity, shift, symmetry, and convolution. Then we'll talk about energy conservation and decibels, the concept of phase unwrapping and zero padding, the use of the fast Fourier transform, which is the algorithm that we will be using to implement uh, the DFT, and then uh, the FFT together with the concept of zero-phase windowing and finally we'll put it together into an analysis uh, synthesis system. So then on uh, week four we will go to the short time Fourier transform which is the first version of the Fourier transform that can be used in real sounds thus on signals that change in time we will present the first complete analysis synthesis system of the course that is of some uh, practical use. So we will start with the STFT equation, then talk about the analysis window, then about the FFT size and hop size, then uh, the very common concept which is the time frequency compromise which is fundamental to understand the short time Fourier transform, and finally we will discuss the concept of the inverse short time Fourier transform. So with that we can put together an analysis synthesis system. Then on uh, week five uh, we will go a step further and uh, we will be building on top of the short time Fourier transform what we will call the sinusoidal model. Uh, we will present the, the equation of the sinusoidal model then we will introduce the concept of uh, what are sinusoids uh, seen from the frequency domain, seen from the spectrum, and uh, then we will uh, talk about how we will actually find those sinusoids, and uh, the concept is going to be the, the idea of a spectral peaks, and then we will talk about how to, to analyze, identify these sinusoids in, as, uh, as time-varying uh, sine waves in the spectrogram, in a time-varying uh, spectrum. And finally, again, we'll talk about synthesis. So again, building up an analysis synthesis uh, system based on this concept of sinusoidal modeling. Then uh, the next uh, week, on week six, uh, we will be assuming that uh, sound is harmonic. And then if we do that assumption, we can develop a much more powerful model, what we will call the harmonic model which is a sinusoidal model in which we add the constraints that all the sinusoids are multiple of a fundamental frequency. So we'll introduce the harmonic model equation, then we'll talk about uh, three concepts that many times we, uh, we confuse, which is the concept of sinusoids, the concept of partials, and the concepts of harmonics. Then uh, we will introduce uh, the concept of monophonic and polyphonic signals because the analysis techniques we'll be using are uh, quite distinct if we apply them to monophonic or polyphonic signals. And finally, uh, we'll talk about how to detect the harmonics. 
To do that, we will complement this discussion with the idea of a fundamental frequency detection. A harmonic sound is one that has a fundamental frequency, so we need to understand uh, these and be able to um, implement uh, techniques to uh, um, analyze the fundamental frequency. Then on week uh, 7, um, we will add some more complexity uh, because many sounds cannot be well modeled with sinusoids or with harmonics. So we need to worry about the parts of sounds, attacks, nonlinearities, noises, that are not well modeled with sinusoids. And for this we introduce the idea of modeling sounds with sinusoids plus residual. And in that concept we need to introduce the concept of stochastic model, so how uh, signals can be modeled using this, this concept of uh, uh, stochastic signals. And then we will actually talk about how to approximate sounds with these stochastic uh, models. And then uh, we will introduce the, this model of uh, sinusoids or harmonics plus residual. So the signal that is left that is not modeled well with sinusoids and harmonics. So therefore we will we'll need to talk about subtracting this residual, obtaining this residual. And then this residual, hopefully, in many situations, can be a stochastic signal. And therefore, then we can present this sinusoidal or harmonic plus a stochastic model. Uh, therefore, for that, we will need to introduce the, the concept of how to model the residual with this uh, concept of uh, stochastic signals. So in this, uh, this will be quite dense uh, lecture because we will be talking quite a bit uh, about very different uh, models and uh, that complement each other and that can be a little bit uh, uh, complex to understand at, at the first uh, approximation. Okay, and then uh, basically that's going to be all the models we will be uh, uh, talking about and in the rest of the classes, the, the next uh, three classes, we will basically talk about applications and more uh, kind of advanced topics. So as I mentioned uh, in this course we focus on two types of applications. One is sound transformations. So in this uh, week eight we will go over the models that we have presented and show the types of transformations that are possible to do with them. So, for example, we will talk about the short time Fourier transform and what can we do in terms of transformation, so specifically filtering or morphing. Then we will go over the sinusoidal model and what type of transformations, basically focusing on time and frequency scaling. Then on the harmonics plus residual model, we will uh, focus on the idea of pitch transposition. And finally, on the most elaborated model that uh, we will have introduced, which is the harmonics plus a stochastic model, we will talk about time stretching and morphing. Then uh, on week uh, 9, we will talk about the second major application uh, we would like to uh, focus on in this class, which is uh, the idea of sound description. So with, uh, with what we have presented, we can extract features of a sound in a way that are relevant to describe it. Um, so we'll first uh, focus on the idea of audio features that can be obtained from these spectral analyses that uh, we have uh, talked about. And then we will um, talk about how to use these type of techniques to describe more complex uh, music or uh, signals and uh, concepts of like a whole collection of sounds. How do we handle uh, the analysis of not just one sound but a collection of sounds. And finally on the, the last week of classes, uh, on the 10th week, um, we will uh, review all the models and outline related topics that we have not been able to cover in class. Uh, we will present other Fourier-based uh, sound models and we will also present other models that are not Fourier-based. So again, so we will review the class and then go beyond uh, this uh, signal processing for music applications, uh, uh, things that we have been talking. And that's all. Uh, in terms of references, as in every class, 
um, all the content is uh, available online and with open licenses so feel free to review all the content and have access to everything I have been uh, mentioning so this is all for this lecture uh, we have done a quick outline of the course going over the theory topics that we'll cover uh, so from now on uh, we are really starting uh, going into uh, signal processing so thank you for your attention and I'll see you next class